Okay, so here I'm, I'm showing a, a demo of, um, of Open Air Interface um, with, uh, with the Lime SDR. Okay, so I have here uh, a Lime SDR board. Um, I have added a little duplexer here um, for, for band 7. Um, so I'm going to op operate this demo in, uh, in band 7 uh, with a commercial phone. Um, this PC here, so this laptop here, runs uh, Open Air Interface um, um, eNode B, plus in this case uh, a third-party um, EPC. And uh, well, it's um, it's really simple. I um, so so everything is installed. Uh, the the core network is is already running. Um, so the only thing I need to do here is to to start the base station with the right configuration file. So in this configuration file, I'm configuring it for for band seven transmission mode one. I'm using a, a five megahertz configuration. Um, so five, uh, so twenty five resource blocks. That will give me a approximate throughput of 10, 11 megabits per second. Um, so I'm starting this. I also have here in the background um, our our debug interface, the the e -Node B tracer. So that shows um, some uh, some information about uh, the um, the e -Node B. So it shows some logs uh, for for the different components of the e -Node B. It shows the the received signal. And when I connect the phone, so when I put this out of airplane mode, um, you see the phone connects. You see there is, um, you know, the, uh, traffic going on. You see some signals on the uplink. Here, these lines here, um, they represent each each of those pixels here represents one either uplink or downlink transmission. Okay, green means that the the, the transmission was successful, so acknowledged, and red means it was not successful. So at the moment there's not much going on. There's just a sporadic uplink transmission to keep the you know the, the, the link alive, but there's nothing on the downlink. So now I can show a full a full network connection. I can browse the internet uh, from um, um, from the phone. You can see the the traffic here. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, for example, I can also run a, a YouTube video. Um, let's choose another one with buffers again. Um, and you see how nice uh, the, the really the traffic pattern of uh, of the YouTube video. So it starts uh, now it starts buffering. Let me change the quality here to the most. Uh, 15 megabits. It is the, the highest quality. So it is. Uh, so it, now it has finished buffering for a while, and uh, it uh, it's just playing back. You see, I'm an OK Go fan. <laughs> I mean, this is just you know what you're seeing here is just the uplink, okay? Yeah. So, um, but that's because oh, of the pro of the TCP protocol. There's a lot of feedback going on, but sometimes um, you don't see the downlink modulation here. What is this here? That's the uplink uh, channel estimates. But so. uplink, uh, is that on a device or actually uplink? It's from the UE from to the, the base from station. From the UE to the to the base station. Right. So that's the uh, frequency which I use, like the sub carriers. Which no, I no, no, no. It's more. It's mixed. It's between uh, time. It's mixed time frequency. So so each you see that this is repeating. Each of these blocks corresponds to one subframe. Um, and uh, within the subframe, you have all the the three hundred sub carriers which are used in this uh, in this bandwidth configuration. So you see, it doesn't. It, it not all the subcarriers. Sorry, not not all the subframes keep changing all the time because not all the subframes are used. And here, this is the control channel. You have um, um, the. You see, for example, when there's uplink traffic, um, you see these dots here. They're above this threshold. That means that the UE wants to wants to send data. It's a scheduling request, and uh, it's also the ECNEC uh, signaling which is happening on. on this push on this uplink control channel.